of the monorail out of the metro the public transport in this city is absolutely amazing What's up guys, Garrett 7 here and welcome to episode 16 of my Let's Play on City Skylines on Devon Valley. So in the last episode we got the high rise IT cluster in over here and here which I think look awesome, definitely adds some extra height to the city. We also added the blimps which you can see coming around at the moment, they are doing really well. We also added the tram lines and everything around here which again they're helping with people. We're still waiting for a demand for residents but we have to continue on with the shopping and that. What I think we'll do is we'll build off of this highway continue zoning in this area and then we can zone in over here as well uh, I did make this round about the uh, earlier for the trams but again I don't think they're going to need to use them unless we do some more trams over here which we might do um, but we're going to get a big shopping and industry zone over here only we need to also make sure the residents are okay with the garbage because at the moment we've got just these ones and we'll get rid of everything else um, I think we can start maybe putting stuff up here. We can start doing that. If we do those three there, that should be enough. And then we can get rid of all these garbage processing plants, or garbage processing plants, all of the refuge landfill sites and the incinerating plants at some point. We can go straight across to a full green city. Um, I don't think there's too much to add. Oh yeah, the yoga garden, the community pool, sports hall, and that is it, I need to add them. I think I might have even added them in the last episode. If not, we'll get them added now. Um, let's think, sports hall and gymnasium. We can put that one right there. Uh, in fact, if I put it this side, it would be even better. So I'll give all them a big boost. That comes up quite a large area, to be honest, that's good. Uh, what's this next one we've got here, sorry? I've got the community pool. So swimming pool will be nice again in this area. Maybe towards the lower density area. I do want it right on the highway though so it's got easy access for everybody. So here we can put it there right by the monorail. Boom. That again. Nice big coverage. And finally we've got the yoga gardens. That was going to work best over here when we do build that one. We might have to wait just because of power. In fact I can put that we can go right here can't we if I go down a little bit like so. Again that's making these people happy. Um, so that's the city, the green city stuff we've got added into it. Here's the yoga garden. See people doing yoga there. We've got the community pool, which we placed here. Already got people using that. The last one we built was a sports hall, which is right here. So again, not got anybody in there yet, but got good time, people time to get there. Traffic's still getting a bit busy on this junction, but again, look at that. Look at all these people walking because we now made the option for them to get across. That's a major, major improvement. Um, I might even build a bridge across from there to here uh, just to give these people a way across without having to cross the road but that makes so much of a difference having footpaths around and everybody walking here the city is becoming a, but look at that off the metro off the monorail wow that is amazing so good to see people walking and we've, it sounds weird but see people walking instead of driving makes an awesome difference for the city got a nice big city skylines view now hence the name of the game obviously but yeah I do like that with the blimps and we've got all the high rises in the background we do need to get over this district which is the, a lot of the lower density stuff sorted out we are still waiting for these to finish off so that one there we can actually get rid of that one now so I can turn it off. I'm not sure when we can demolish it, but we will be able to at some point. This at 33%. Check this one. This is again empty, so we can turn that off. Let's see. Can we demolish it? Yes, we can. Great. We know then. What am I doing going over that far? Can demolish that one as well. Any more? Any more? Um, that's still emptying. That's still emptying. So that's cool, that's two more we got rid of, which is nice. Residents are sick, let's double check our hospital coverage before we get on and then build everything else we need. Um, I don't want to send them to hospital, so medical clinic. We've got plenty of clinics around, plenty of availability, average health is 75%. Um, again, we, these all help for health. We do need to put medical clinic actually in here. Maybe that can go there. That covers you know half the city as well, which is nice. Maybe these don't have coverage because they're down the bottom end here. Um, like a 
at that there, which will cover that half. He's still not quite covered there. We'll give another one. I know it's cost a lot of money having these, but I think it's worth having healthy citizens or residents. Nice, so that's covered that. We just hit new milestone, which is awesome. 65,000, so we can hit the metropolis. Got another area. Unlocked aeroplanes and the airport, which, to be honest, I don't think we're going to use. Um, some unique buildings. Yeah, that is cool. I'm actually really happy that we hit that. So, why we are here, because we want to work, expand up here, we can also have a look at buying this next square. Um, I do think we need to buy this one. We don't get a lot of resources or outside connections or anything like that, but we've got 93% building capability, and that's what we need to do to continue to grow our city. So I'm buying it straight away. Boom. So now we can build up here. We're going to open up all of this. We've got three connections now to the highway, or what, two here for this area, and one for this little back part there. I think we're going to do some low density over in this corner. So then we'll get like a low density on the hill going into the high density. And over here we're going to do all high density shopping, uh, industry, and some housing again. Once this is cleared as well, we'll have no dirt and pollution over this area, which will help a lot. Um, and yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start zoning up these areas get some some of it zoned up and actually before I continue to build that milestone was our second to last milestone so that is actually amazing 80,000 is the highest you can get to uh, for milestones and then we unlock the monuments and our final square we're not far off that at all what are we 15,000 residents and we're going up really quite rapidly at the moment so that is amazing um, these are all building up now as well I've just noticed this city, city, this part of the city, you know, the Willow Square is growing really nicely. I'm going to double check the transport routes a second. Let's see how people are using the trams. You know, they're going quite nicely. 82 people, not, uh, 67. Um, trains are doing amazing. Our blimps are doing really well as well, actually. Um, we have 261 people are waiting at one stop. We're going to have to up it to 11 blimps just to try and get rid of some of these. Look at that. We have 260 people waiting here. 147 people waiting here. So the people in the old districts, Grove Hill, and that are loving using the blimps to get over to this area. Um, our monorail, again, 401, 360 passengers respectively. So all of our transport we put in are doing really well. Even the newer stuff that's not really, you know, how often are you going to really take a blimp to get to work? These people seem to love it. Um, why are they all waiting here? They're going to work all the way up in this area. So they're actually using that instead of driving. So these roads are going to get clearer and clearer with more people using it. So the more public transport we're having, like this here the other day was completely chock-a-block. It's now relatively smooth. Again it's getting slightly more busy but it's because we're adding more stuff. Um, once we add up here it should might, should might, good old England again. It should hopefully clear up some of the traffic issues we are having because people won't all be going into the same areas. Again, this is our newest roundabout. This is where they're going into the city, but you can see all the people walking as well. Look at that. Off of the monorail, out of the metro. The public transport in this city is absolutely amazing. Look, all these people walking over here. They were walking to work, just got off the, just look at that, trams again. It is honestly blowing my mind how well the public transport is doing in this city. Anyway, I'm going to get on with zoning up this, and I'll, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we've zoned up these areas here. We left the back space over here for our small, uh, low-density residential at some point. But we've um, zoned up these two areas. I've put in um, a couple of parks, schools, and everything like that. I also put in this Central Park, which is one of the mon uh, not the monuments, but one of the unique buildings. I also put in this here which is if we have a look at it the uh, city hall so I thought that looks pretty cool overlooking like the main city you know you can see pretty much everything um, also we've got a meteor or sorry a meteor a thunderstorm on its way so if we pause that we can go across to here and we can view the incoming thunderstorm and it's going to hit the whole city except over this side so we're going to be pretty lucky in Grove Hill but the main front of it is actually going to be in the whole of the new district and that so let's get it unpaused and let's view this incoming storm we've got everybody evacuating we need to zone up so now it's just a case of waiting for this storm while that's happening we can start zoning in some of this up here 
thinking maybe oh is that going to hit when it hits it'll drag us over there I want some uh, housing around here but I also want some office space I think we'll do offices around here and I'm actually going to make them the IT cluster because they look the best in my opinion so let's just quickly pause that we're going to do an IT cluster here so we'll have big buildings around this bit that can all be one little district that's Highlands Hill that'll work fine we go across to the IT district bish bash bosh we also added the train line up here I forgot to mention that um, we haven't finished off zoning that up but we'll probably do a stop down there and possibly like a main hub up here um, we've got a high demand at the moment for office space so that should build in quite quickly let's just wait for, again it might not because we've got this thunderstorm on its way um, but yeah we're going to do it all like that somewhere in the back there we'll do some there as well we're going to do quite a bit of it maybe maybe not that one actually that was a little bit too big but yeah waiting on this thunderstorm we've got some high, uh, need for shopping as well which we'll stick a little bit of shopping down around here as well we can maybe make this like a shopping boulevard around by the park um, once we get rid of some of the other bits we can make the larger shops we'll do that one as well so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. If you are, please do hit the like. Massive thanks to everybody who's watching, liking, sharing. A big shout out to Curzo. Um, he's one of my the guys who've been watching me for a long time, always commenting. Uh, also, Sports Monkey. A big shout out to him. A new one of my new subs, another fellow Cities player, and to Florida Man. Again, big shout out for the comments and the likes recently as well, and everybody else. So here goes with the thunderstorm let's see how much damage it does hopefully not too much because i don't want it to destroy what we've just made here it goes oh it's just hitting these new buildings now <laughs> just where we built you saw that big strike or thunderbolt more of it happening just outside of our boundaries luckily if we go into free cam we can get a big look at that there we go hitting our buildings Whoa, we're hitting the city hall. Bridges. Lucky it's missing quite the main stuff at the moment, but we're getting it down here as well. That is a cool thunderstorm. I'll leave this playing for you guys, and I'll be back in a second. Thunderstorms going on for a long time, it's pretty epic. I love thunderstorms in real life, so in game this is actually pretty cool. I love the noises of it. Hopefully it doesn't cause too much damage. We can see we've got some fires spreading up over in our new district. Which we definitely need to kind of get some fire services up there ASAP if we don't already. Let's go and check that out a second while the thunderstorms are still happening. These guys are crying out for electric. Let's check fire services. We have one in the centre, I'm going to put another one just there it's going to help connect up the power and it's going to hopefully be able to clear this fire that's going on here but yeah these thunderstorms they are major they're so loud they're so like yeah they're quite realistic to be honest the sounds of it I do love it 
do really like it. So what we're going to do while this is raging on, we're going to continue on with upgrading, um, well not upgrading, but zoning in our area, while our new district is getting absolutely smashed. Let's see if we've got power over here. Ah, oh, still not quite enough. So we can connect that, like so, that'll get that sorted. We can actually delete that line. And come on, let me get that line, thank you very much. So when we zone in over here, that will give us... Um, and will it let us fill? Select, it will. We can delete that one, and we can reselect that one as a larger area. And again, this is going to be quite smaller ones. We'll do a couple of shops here, not too much, because I want to get some residential in as well. There we go. Nice, it seems to be slowing down a little bit. I hope. In fact, we'll do these lower density shops towards the city hall. I'm sure the mayor or wouldn't want that right by his house. Uh, let's do low density there, please. That one low density as well. There we go, we've got the helicopters out fighting the fires. Seems to be quieting down now. We've got a fire in our new district already. Oh my days. Let's put this back onto free time speed, get it building up. We'll check all this lot out. So, it's destroyed the power cables. Not too worried about that. We can re easily reconnect that. If we need to. Yes, we do. Um, that connects that. Where else have we got issues over here again? Power again? Yep. I'm not too worried when it destroys power cables. It's annoying because I've got to reconnect them, but... Other than that, because we've got so much power going around the city as it is, we're pretty lucky. Come on, let me grab it, thank you very much. Not so easy on console grabbing these. It's not as clickable as it would be if it was on PC. Can we just grab that one, please? No, I'm right on it. Thank you. We need to go across the footbridge. Fish bash bosh, there you go, get them power back on. And yeah, it's not done too much damage, it's mainly just the power, which I'm not as worried about. Oh dear, yeah, we've got to just... I'll pause it just so I can get rid of all of this. We might be able to get people back out in a second. As soon as it says it's over, we'll do that. Um, let's continue on with that, get these power all sorted out. But yeah, on today's ep like for the rest of the episode, we're going to be zoning in our new area, definitely getting that sorted out. We don't even need power for there do we because it's already done that's perfect and again down in this district maybe we get away with not zoning that in let's have a little look nope don't even need to bother with that so that's perfect again over this side we've got no nothing over there no damage no nothing there is an issue with power there but that's because we've moved everything out so let's do that they were zoned off anyway but that's just to get power to the prison who are about to complain so yeah let's keep that running on three times speed I think we're all okay now. Uh, let's go across to our emergency... No, we have to go across to this one. And we can tell everybody to go back home. Ideal. But yeah, I've, I had to do some terraforming here to get this roundabout in place that I made. Um, so I terraformed and I thought actually on top of the hill that would be quite cool to have the city office. Again, we've got some more fires going on over here. Um, but it's quite a pain in this land, it's so hilly. But we'll, we'll make do, we'll make something work here. And then a nice flatter area here. We'll get some high density residential in. We've got a major issue about garbage. We'll get a garbage disposal over here right now. So yeah, if we grab one of these, I think we'll do a recycling centre. Um, so that, that is a recycling centre, literally. Why is that not collecting rubbish from opposite it? Uh, maybe because this is just uh, a tramway instead of... Um, let me see, that's a tram line, isn't it? Is that the tram? two-way with one-way tram track we can do upgrade oh it won't let me do that because it's tram only hmm we can do that though so that'll be fine we'll just do that just for now then cars can use it as a roundabout as well hopefully these recycle lorries will then go around and be able to get over here. Police should be able to get around to them easier. That might have been what the problem was. Um, 
I will also I kind of want to get an incinerating plant over here but they just cause pollution and we could maybe get one here if we do a small road coming off of here but as you've probably seen I don't like using the non green stuff even though it doesn't actually matter to me I could use it and it won't make any difference the city is pretty green anyway but we'll stick it down anyway and hope for the best but yeah this district here is already building up nicely we don't have much demand at the moment we've got 72,000 people already and we're slowly increasing again once we hit 80,000 that's all of the milestones unlocked we've got some more unique buildings as well that we do need to place down at some point I do want to unlock all of the stuff so again for series wise you guys need to let me know what you want to see if you want to see it continue if you want to see you know what you want to see happen um, I'm happy to continue it at the moment I'm really enjoying playing it but people might want to see the start of a new series again on a different map now we've got some you know different things but again let me know in the comments I always read every comment and I try and respond well I do respond to everyone and yeah we'll get it built up to however you guys think would be best uh, we've got shopping demand here if I can let me put in these offices for now um, shopping wise I kind of want to get some low density over this side this is going to be quite sparsely populated we'll probably put some more parks and things in here we could get some shops down here but as soon as I start zoning down here there's no power um, we could do a whole load of shopping here like so there we go we do want to get that so that can be the first area that's going to be zoned in here and that back area and then we can grid off of that uh, over into this Fairview Heights get it um, powered up if we need to or when we need to because we will need to and yeah hopefully you guys think that looks alright I think it would be quite cool having a bit of the city up on the hill we will connect it up further you know get some stuff down here and continue on growing the city I want to start using some different links like trams and that but again for the train wise I think we should definitely get a train station up here um, again we're going to have to build a road specifically for that I want it to go here so we've got to think where the road would have to go um, in fact before I do that let's have a look we got some new hubs didn't we multi-platform multi -platform end station that might work multi-platform train station ferry and bus exchange nope uh, monorail bus hub that could work but we're not going to have a monorail on there so one of these, let's see how big that is, massive. That's actually really big. So that would have to build a road, right. Let's get this one in. An end of train station with 12 platforms. Each platform can have separate tracks connecting, allowing passengers to change lines at ease. Probably not the best place for this, to be honest. It probably should have been more in the centre, maybe where we built one of our other tracks. But it's definitely not going to be the worst place for it. Do you know what I mean? Like We can build like so and I can go into there, we can connect them up relatively easily uh, no thank you, come on so these ones can be connected, those two and these three we can go straight one if it would just let me go straight, thank you and then keep them separate like that then we can connect them with a bigger curve down into there that one can curve into there and then this one cannot curve like that can maybe curve into here like that so they've got their own separate platforms it looks proper messy and it's going to get busy as hell but I don't think to be honest we're going to have many routes going up here um, especially while it's not even connected we need to connect this highway up now get some water connected up so let's go to the piping we can just literally run that should cover that, I'll make sure it goes all the way up to the end though because when we get shops and things in that won't be great um, I'll connect this road up, get the power over here because now we've actually got people building over here shop wise so let's do that quickly while you guys are here with me there we go and yeah I'll get some train lines set up and I'll be back in a second so I've got the train connected up now as you can see it's going down through the tunnel about to go out um, this does have a monorail connected to it so we're going to actually add a monorail up here straight away slope, slope is too steep fan 
Tappy Dozy. Let's find somewhere where it's not too bad. Yeah, we can put one right here beside the park. Um, or can we get one over this side? We can, and we can have it linked like that. That'd be perfect. So we're going to get this one linked straight up to this one. Transport loop will go one, two, there for now. It's just going to be a little loop. Right, so down in this lower district where we've got these shops, I've added a walkway across to the Fairview Heights to connect up this section. Again, we've got people building up here now, which is nice, uh, some lower density stuff. We're just now waiting on getting more people in. Um, again, we've got issues with garbage. We've got issues over here of, I think this is not enough goods. Let's have a check. Low land value. So they want higher land value. So to do that, we need to add parks and like plazas and things. We could put a plaza right there. That should make them happy, make that a bit more wealthy. That's always got a rubbish area because this is not the best place. Um, we can add up another plaza there for these people, make them happy as well. They've got plenty. We're missing stuff down here really. Again, a plaza would fit perfectly there. Uh, over in this district. Plazas don't really go for low density in my opinion, they're just too big. Um, Maybe we could do a park, we can get a small park in, a small playground. That would work there. That makes them happy as well. Um, we need to definitely get more stuff around just to get the people happy. Let's see what's this one here. It's another small park, so we can put that one. Got one on the outside, we need one there please, thank you very much. We need to do something over here, so a dog park. I always do dog parks beside shops and things, I just think, you know, people are going to go shopping, take their dog with them probably, have somewhere for it to run around, a couple of parks there, and now up here by the offices, again same thing, you go to work, you take your dog with you, you want somewhere to run it about, have a nice dog park. While you're there let's put yourself in a nice, what have we got here, fishing island, that's not going to work, we can do a large playground, in case you take your kids to work with you, and we'll do that just down a bit further there, so it's just off the main road. I'm going to quickly check how this is getting on. I've had 90 people use it already. Surprised. I wasn't expecting any. Because we've got not... Because we do not have a lot up here. I was going to say something that would have made no sense. Um, again, down here, still devastated. We've got to wait for that to grow back up. Um, but our public transport, as we were saying at the beginning of the episode, is doing amazing. This is all now starting to fill up. We've got our nice new Highland Heights, or Highland Hills. And then we've got our shopping district, and it's going to be residential on the side of this hill. I did put a new solar updraft tower there, we needed that. Um, again, we've just got to wait now on what's down here. Oh yeah, we added this. We should start blimp depot. Again, I've not seen that from that view. I've changed where I'm sitting today. That's why I'm seeing stuff at a different angle. Um, I'm on my large front room television rather than on my monitor. And it looks pretty awesome, to be honest, this game. On the massive TV. Let's go over here. we got this one going off. So that means that one is now completely empty. So we could get rid of that one. Yes, please. We'll leave that there because that, they'll still be able to collect rubbish. We could even put a recycle plant up here. Let's encourage them to recycle and what they can't recycle will then get taken away. I don't know why anybody else is going up here other than these guys. It's not exactly something you want to be driving up to as a garbage dump but you know they will do what they want. We will add metro and everything like that at some point. We could even get a cable car going from this district up there. We've got a nice hill for that. In fact let's do a cable car. For some reason our residents are loving our cable cars that we've got in at the moment. That is hella steep, to be honest. Look how steep this is. Ready? They're going to be going along here. And then it's just a massive drop down for them. That'll be fun. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be that steep, but again, that should work out for them. It's not the best thing in the world, but we'll see if people use it. If they do, we'll leave it. If they don't, we'll get rid of that. Um, we've got more demand at the moment, so we'll put some of that in before we head off in a second. I want to finish off zoning up down here. I don't want to do too much there. I want to get some housing in as well at some point. But again, we don't have the demand for that at the moment. So that can be there. We can add some 
down here we can definitely get a few bits of office. These will be slightly smaller, we're not going to go for the IT cluster down here at the moment. We'll leave all that to increase. So if you've enjoyed this episode guys hit that like button. If you are new please do drop a sub. But this is currently our city at the end of this episode. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye.